Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I thought I would just do a short and sweet video of me taking care of both of our lawns, the one in our very backyard and then our side backyard as well. And I thought I would film them in two different ways. So the first way is going to be some more artsy, different angles, different shots. And then when I actually cut and edge the side backyard, it's going to be like within 30 seconds, everything gets done. It is satisfying for me to watch, but knowing how long it actually took me to do all of the work, it's amazing that all of that just gets squeezed into one tiny clip. But I am curious for the future which kind of style of editing you guys prefer. Do you like it kind of up close and personal and real speed? Or do you like watching the yard get cut and edged like all at once very quick and have it be maybe part of a different video of like a get it all done? Or would you rather just have a video like this where this is the one thing we're doing because it did take me a while. I was sweaty afterwards and in well need of a shower. So before I got to edging, I noticed that there was like a bunch of weeds in this little area and typically I edge this portion next to the sprinkler so all of those weeds would get cut back and then they still have their roots there and they would all grow back. So I figured I would take some time to just pick them all out of the ground before I started edging and unfortunately, I guess the way I edge is not ideal for the edging like plastic blade because I do kind of use the concrete wall as a stopper in some sense and a guide for edging. I think when Juan edges, he just kind of runs the edger on top of the cement walkway so that the blade isn't actually hitting the cement like little edge. And the grass, in my opinion, then looks long quicker. The way I like to edge is really cutting the grass next to the cement very low so that by the time that it's time to like mow the lawn again, it's not super, super tall. But anyways, again, that kind of has its downsides because this plastic blade was getting very small and really made it more difficult for me to edge as quickly. So this did take me a lot longer than it would if I had like a brand new little blade, which Juan ordered and we got in the mail today as I'm recording this voiceover. So thankfully, you know, we will have a little replacement blade there and edging in the future, hopefully it will go a lot quicker I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I want to burn all the bridges between us So to wrap up this back backyard, I edge around the tree and the tree posts and really just try to trim down the grass there. I know a lot of times people have like a little 
planter area around the tree and that way you're not having grass like right up next to the trunk i don't know what we're going to do in the future if we're going to build like a little I, I think the idea right now is like a hexagonal or octagonal bench and table around the tree so that eventually we can sit under there like you know you can look across you know maybe have a trunk in your way for the people directly across from you but Kind of have like a table under the tree and it will be just like a nice relaxing spot but for now you know we just have grass right up next to the trunk which is something that we often have to edge or cut by hand as you guys saw me do but after i blew the grass all off and the walkway is now nice and clear i can move on to our side yard which again will be a very short clip and it took me a very long time to do all the work that you see here So I really wish it took me that long just to do all of that work, but I love seeing the end results. I'm so happy with how our yard has, you know, progressed since moving in. For those of you who have been following us, you've seen all the changes over time. While we're outside, I thought we'd say hello to the chickens and check for some eggs, which thankfully our chickens are not broody anymore. So we're now getting an egg a day from each of them. And if you saw my last video, we actually got some baby chicks um, after I filmed this video. So anyways, I thought I'd also share we have some pumpkins growing oddly enough from a relatively small plant it really hasn't grown much in comparison to some of the other pumpkin plants we have but it is the only one that actually is bearing fruit this particular pumpkin will be more of like one of those little decorative ones you would get from the store and then this pumpkin ended up dying from the larger plant I'm really hoping that I get lucky and get at least one large pumpkin. This is our lemon tree, which as you guys can see, we have one lemon growing, and so I'm excited for that to eventually ripen. Our orange and pomegranate trees are also doing pretty well. And I planted our blueberry plant in a place that I thought it would do well, where it gets a little bit of afternoon shade, but it looks like it's just getting like sunburned or something, or I don't know, it's getting water every day. And so I'm really hoping that it doesn't die. I really would like to have some blueberries and it's in a nice little place where Aubrey could eventually pick them and even Jack and you know they're blueberries and healthy so I don't care if they go out and pick them and eat them without me you know noticing but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video I'd like to thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel don't forget to give it a thumbs up that really helps me out and I will catch you guys in the next one to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.